is Carolyn from Hollywood First Look Features, and right now I'm here in Beverly Hills, and I'm about to talk to some of the cast from this year's fall lineup. So Derek, what has impressed you the most in the contestants of World of Dance? What's impressed me the most? What's I mean, just the athleticism, the creativity, the artistry, um, it, it's the innovation. I mean, there's been so many different elements of this show that's just been this is breathtaking. You know, I have people who are like full out athletic, who are doing flips in the air and crazy tricks. And then you have people who are doing very subtle, small movements that's just as impactful. So for me, it, it, it's very eclectic. It, it's very broad in, in what the show brings. And that's what I love about it. You know, with the groups, the soloists, the, the different styles. You know, for me, I think that the show, the production of it, the format has been uh, exactly what we've needed. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nine seasons, and it went from cable to prime time. Knowing that it gets harder every year, what would your advice be to those, you know, aspiring ninja warriors out there that really want to get into the competition? Find somebody better than you and get better than them. Love it. Oh, yes. Sounds good. Yes. That was a very good way to say it in like one sentence. I was trying really hard. <laughs> yeah, it's there's so many different things to do. It's like you have to be an expert at like explosive lower body sprint, jumping, quick foot agility, swinging mechanics in all different directions, trampolines, rock climbing obviously, knowing how to swing and catch on tiny ledges. How do you do all of it? Are you strong enough already? Then it's all technique. But who's strong enough already? There's people. But somebody there's, there's but there's just the mental component is so huge congratulations both of you i can't wait to see how you guys do in the final competition so matt nine seasons and you guys went from cable to prime time why is american ninja warrior so popular the hosts uh no look it's the ninjas it's the story it's it's not just the performances on the course it's the stories they tell the obstacles they overcome off the course are more inspiring than the ones they do on and you know, Flip Rodriguez. Flip. Flip sharing his story six seasons in. How many people whose lives he changed? Uh, this Just this past week, we had Kenny Nimatalo, whose daughter was in the intensive care unit last year with no hope of getting out until a viewer decided to donate a kidney. Now this girl's on the sidelines watching. So, look, we'd love to take credit that we're amazing and we're awesome, but it's the ninjas and the stories that they share with people that I think make people tune in. Congratulations. Thank you. Right. So, Charlene Harris is a hugely popular author. I'm a big fan. What kind of pressure has it been for you, or has there been pressure, you know, going into these characters, knowing there is such a big fan base? Um, for me, it, I haven't felt pressure. Funny enough, this I so related to my character Fiji when I read the script, when I when I started reading the books. It just felt like like just going into a well-worn glove. So my focus has really been on the character and the story. And, and I felt so confident in that, from that, that I haven't thought so much about like how will it be received. It just felt so good inside. Um, I have been very happy, so happy to know that people have been supportive and have been appreciating it. But it just felt those good. those fans can just get rabid if they feel yeah. like they've done a casting, like a casting error or a storyline. Yeah. yeah, you know, I mean, towards that, I, I never really even thought about the idea of feeling pressure because I think it's we have such a good synergy already. Yeah. Charlene has been very much in the ear of our show creator Monica and I think there's such trust that she would handle her world in such a strong way and she did and so I mean Charlene was there when we did the pilot and even though she's not actively involved in shaping the show Creators are talking to creators, and I think that's really what is going to end up satisfying the audience because they're not being left out. The things that are being included in the show, Monica's a huge fan. That's our show creator. She's a huge fan who loves these characters and is advocating for them. So she's not twisting this into a whole new thing. She's babying expanding that. on this world, yeah. not taking over on it. Uh, Brendan and I were talking about earlier. They've all been guest stars before. They've all had their shows before, and so it's they know how to how to make, and that's how that's how I think good actors are supposed to act because it allows the guests to to feel like they can actually work with each other and yeah. work work. I mean, with the more comfortable he is coming onto our set, the better he's going to be, and the better you know, which the better I'm going to be, and so it's like it's not an us versus them mentality on our set. It's like everybody has their role to play, and everybody's role is just as important. So it's like. 
you know, everybody should be feel comfortable doing their job and coming in and doing what they want to do. And it, it's, it's, you know, it's the collaboration that makes these things fun and, and makes them also, um, you know, makes for, yeah, makes them good. So it translates on the screen. Totally. Well, thank you very much. Thank you so much. I'm Brendan Fair. I'm Josh Kelly. And you're watching Hollywood First, First Look, Look Features. Features.